If a man therefore purge himself from these, Timothy said, he shall be a vessel unto honor, sanctified, and meet for the master's use. Isn't that good news today? Yes. So I could not do it, but you don't have to. God does it. The blood of Christ can cast away your sins as if they never were. Flee also from youthful lust, but follow righteousness, faith, faithfulness, charity, love, peace, along with them that call on the Lord out of a pure heart. Listen, hang around good people. Amen? Amen. Now, I, I tell you what, the only thing right now that I can do adequately, only because of His help, is preaching. Some of you are mad because... I haven't come to see you when you're sick. I know that. And some of you are aggravated because I haven't been to see you when you're down. I know that. But let me say in my defense, I have been sick and you were not there. Amen. Amen. And I'm going to fail you again. If this is all you have, you are of men most miserable. Because you need something bigger than me. Run from anything that stimulates youthful lusts instead of pursue, pursue righteousness, living, faithfulness, love, and peace. Enjoy the companionship of those uh, who call on the Lord with pure hearts. A vessel unto honor, sanctified, set apart for the master's use. A vessel is an object that serves. Amen? Amen. You say, well, I don't know if I... Let me tell you something. Samuel served Eli. Moses sh served Jethro. Joshua served Moses. Elisha served Elijah. David served King Saul. Philip served as a deacon serving tables. All of the major characters of a vessel unto honor, it is that it has to have a servant's spirit. The greatest vessel unto honor of all is the Lord Jesus Christ. And what did he say? He said this. He said, I have not come to be served, but to serve. Yes. Yes. Oh, but you don't want to be like him? Well, you have your reward. Now, let me go on.